and how is Abel related to Cain? I thought they were brothers. Uh, Cain is not listed in Adam's genealogy. He only uh, and Cain, Abel isn't listed because he was killed. So you have Seth. Uh, Cain was never Adam's son. Not even listed in his genealogy. Uh, Richmond, Virginia is another unique zone. As it got the major phone lines, all East Coast phone traffic goes through there. Oh, so that's why they don't want Richmond, Virginia around. Take out the communication on the East Coast. That's one thing I really wouldn't miss. I am not one of these people that talks on the phone. I hate to talk on the phone. Uh, and I, I hate this whole cell phone thing. Not only are you just holding a microwave weapon up to your head. <laughs> uh, it's just pe uh, your people are on the phone all the time. And I'm not a phone person. Uh, and, I, and I'm just not a phone person. I hate being on the phone. Don't mind giving interviews. Uh, but other than that, I'm just not a chatter. And you know what, you hardly ever get a clear conversation anyway. One of the pet peeves right now about Bush and all his illegal wiretapping stuff and how he's he's uh, illegally listening in on foreign terrorists. Yeah, right. What about me? <laughs> what about people like me on the Internet who every time we pick up the phone, they're recording our phone conversations. And they're too stupid to do it not get caught. And you hear the clicks, you hear the echoes... Uh, you hear the pickup on the other on the other side, on their side. What about all of us innocent civilians? They always make it sound like it's something he's just doing to foreign people. No, that's something he's doing to everyday Americans. Uh, and they're never going to stop that. They're never going to do a thing about it. No one is stopping Bush. General Schreiner, with the Dark Forces organizing track, will most organize otherwise was off one by one. Uh, they can't pick us off one by one. They pick us off better off if we are together. Please organize us and bring us together just as Lord used others to organize the fight, giant. So will you please lead us? We love you in Flowery Branch, Georgia. You know what? The Lord just hasn't prepared the way. The Lord just hasn't prepared the way to do that. That would take a lot of money to do that, to get the Lord's people together. Uh, and he just has not uh, paved the way. I'm not one of these millionaire... Evangelist, you know, I don't have an airport of airplanes, <laughs> vacation homes all over the world. Uh, I live in probably the oldest and ugliest house in town. I have the money for that, and the Lord hasn't prepared the way for that. Uh, can we kill these aliens, fallen angels with firearms and small arms? Yeah, I blow their head off. Blow their head off. If you miss, go back and get it with a sword or a knife or something. Just get their heads off. Yeah, see, that's the only thing. Uh, Richmond also has uh, uh, internet and broadband facilities and stuff. I'd miss the internet. Wouldn't miss the telephone, but I'd miss the internet. <laughs> I get so exhausted, you know, just day in, day out uh, with the internet and Oregon and just, you know, it's almost like everyone's just waiting for Satan to poop or get off the pot already. Everyone's sick of it. You know, all these lawyers <laughs> are just exhausted. It seems like you're always just waiting, you know, when's the next attack, when's it coming, you know, it's just, you know, Lord's people just need to be busy preparing in the background, folks, because, uh, we don't know, you know, we're not supposed to live in fear, I don't live in fear, I don't even really know anybody does, sometimes you get the newbies in, um, that are just waking up to everything going on, um, but just ask the Lord for his peace. And to show you how to prepare for the things that are coming. I do believe that his warriors will be here for six months after he arrives. And so, uh, once the Antichrist war on the saints starts, I do believe his, there's not going to be a rapture until at least six months. And that's only going to be a rapture of the 144,000. Uh, I know everyone elevate, relegates the fifth seal as to being all those Christian people who come to the Lord after the rapture. That's what the t churches teach. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible doesn't teach a pre-trib rapture, folks. Uh, and you know what? I, I believed in one for 30 years. And there's always so many problems with it. Uh, when I was a kid, and I used to question it, and they would just basically just uh, tell you to believe what you're told and don't ask questions because they know what they're talking about. Just believe what you're told. <laughs> and so you grow up just... For the sake of getting along with all the other apostates, you stay in apostasy yourself. And meanwhile, eventually you just pull away from that. And you start asking the Lord what the truth is. You know, when I look out 
in crowds today and I see these kids with tattoos. Uh, I watched those VMA awards last night. I wanted to see if the reptilians were up to anything good. <laughs> it wasn't exactly like the State of the Union address. Uh, it's just, uh, you know. Britney Spears. How can anybody who watches this mess not, uh, not realize this girl's MPD? I mean, how can, you know, no one's ever brought, I've never seen it brought up on the internet, ever. I think I've brought it up before. How can they not know she's an MPD, multiple personality, suffering from DID, this identity, uh, dissociative identity disorder? She's a classic example. And then you look at these other people, and you wonder why Hollywood's such a mess. Look at who they're putting out. It's who they're controlling. You know, and you, you look at these relationships, this Angelina Jolie, and this, I hear from Hollywood producers and people all the time. And I've never been a Hollywood type person. I've never really could care less about any of that stuff. Uh, but I'll hear from people who are in the know in L.A., live in the L.A. area, Santa Monica and, and stuff, uh, who have either fled the area for their lives because they get chased out, or uh, and just know the inner workings of Hollywood. And so I hear a lot about it. Uh, and so I like to see these people on TV for myself a lot. I'm just certainly not going to go to the concerts or anything else like that. That's Satan's territory. Uh, but you look at the relationships. It's Brad Pitt and Angelina jo- Jolie. Uh, they're bisexual, living a heterosexual marriage type facade. So they can each continue on with their own lives. Except, you know, uh, this Justin Timberlake, another one. All of his girlfriends are bisexuals. Why is that? Because he's got to be one. Uh, and then you have, without the sexual perversion parts, because most of these people from the time they were children have grown up in Satanist families, uh, involved with the whole inner workings of Hollywood and the Satanism that's there. And so most of them are, uh, DID. I just think the most, one, the, the most obvious example out there is this Britney Spears. Uh, and we know that's how Satan's going to bring in uh, this new world order was uh, one of his biggest plans was using the entertainment crowd. Uh, City of Fallen Angels, Los Angeles, and there's a huge reptilian base under L.A. And they know that there's a bunch of tunnels, ancient tunnels, underneath L.A. Uh, those, those, ain't, uh, probably still in use uh, by the reptilians. <laughs> by the reptilians. Uh, but you'd be amazed. A lot of the actors that are on television today and, and most of the people who are where they are are because they're one of Satan's pawns, one of Satan's kids, one of Satan's actors working the agenda, a child of one of the parents working the agenda. Uh, it's just all a, a big intricate web of the deceived uh, and the played on and the soul scalped. Uh, Hollywood's just a mess. Uh, but that's what I'll say for Hollywood for now. <laughs> I know I've had, I, I kept thinking, well, they're not all oh, can't be so bad. Because I know there's actors I've grown up liking. And then you hear from these producers, oh my gosh, she's the biggest Satanist in Hollywood. And you're like, what? <laughs> and you, you know, your jaw drops. And yeah, that's the way Hollywood is. And that's the way their whole world is, folks. It's just all going to hell. It's all, all going down to hell in a handbasket with the reptilians leading the way. Uh, everything being controlled by the Illuminati Council, this Council of Aliens, and they not only play the New World Order crowd and make the Illuminati children do their bidding, they are the ones running the New Age crowd. And so you have two, three different factions, how many factions to, to bring the world to its knees under the submission of the Antichrist, all run by one council. Uh, and who, who, and who would talk about it? Led Zeppelin and Kashmir. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I believe that DID is really demonic possession. The 